you Thank making you, that Mr. statement? Speaker. Is that you? And I'm very honored today to stand in the legislature uh, to recognize our men and women in uniform for National Police's Week. Our officers across the province and across the world in the, in the last year have gone um, through more than, than normal um, with, this, with, the, with the face of the pandemic and literally went from frontline heroes to being shamed for what they do in, uh, you know, just for the sake of a small few. Uh, our officers go above and beyond every day and every shift to uh, put pe other people's safety in front of their own and they're to be highly commended for that especially during the last year with all the challenges. I'm especially proud. Um, we have a couple of family members in my family that have, uh, that have gone through the test. And um, I have a cousin, uh, Mark Cormier, that I'd like to acknowledge, an RCMP officer in Alberta. And my little, cousin, or my little sister, Wendy, not so little sister, my younger sister, uh, Wendy Cormier, constable, and she's in Nova Scotia. So I'd like to say how proud we are of, of both of them. Uh, we miss them every day. Um, my little sister hasn't been home since the, this pandemic started. So miss her terribly and so very proud of her and we were worried about her every shift. So, uh, so thank you to all the, uh, the, for the service. Thank you to all the police officers and we wish them a very happy National Police Week. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.